Hello, people of the internet. Prepare to be enlightened. Today, on Scientifically Scientific Science, we will be discussing the important structure of a hypothesis cell of a carnivore. Before we learn about this very important element of the periodic table, we must first define our term. Hypothesis, a supposition or proposed explanation made in the basis of limited evidence as a starting point for further investigation. Cell, a small room in which a prisoner is locked up. Carnivore, a traveling amusement show or circus. And now we move on to the basic questions we need to ask whenever we want to learn about any subject, not just the hypothesis cell of a carnival. Where did they come from? Where did they go? And where did they come from, Cotton Eye Joe? The hypothesis cell of a carnivore came from the ears of potato trolls, and if you don't know what a potato troll is, that's what Google's for. From the ears of potato trolls, the hypothesis cell of a carnivore condenses onto clouds and rains down onto the carnivals. The hypothesis cell of a carnivore came from the ears of potato trolls, and if you don't know, know what a potato troll is, that's what Google's for. Now it's time for a fun fact! The word hypothesis comes from the Latin word hypo, meaning punch, and the Zuhili word thesis, meaning line. So what does the hypothesis cell of a carnivore look like? Well, no one's seen it with our naked eyes. We can only make assumptions based on the shape it takes when it joins in water. And many scientists believe that the hypothesis cell of a carnivore actually looks like this. Now it's time for the lightning round, where I name as many facts about our topic in 15 seconds as I can. Clocks ready? Go. Oh, oh, wait. <sighs> that was time. And now you know more about the hypothesis cell of a carnivore than you would ever learn from school. You're welcome. And don't forget to subscribe unless you want your IQ to drop to zero.